This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, the physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson function with parameters, bug shaker. This program shakes bugs around when the board is shaken, but it's only working for one bug. Do this. Change the move bugs function so that it calls move bug color on every bug. Hint. Look at the detect hits function for a clue on how to do this. All right, so we need to change the move bug funk color. Okay, and we need to change it, and we want to look at detect hits. So right now it only changes it. Well, where do we call this? We call it here for the red bug. What do they want us to do? Oh, well, we have all the bugs in a list already. We have them in an array. So we could just, ah, look at detect hits. Detect hits uses a for loop. It loops through the length of our array. So our array is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight long, right? So the length will be eight because we started counting at one. But the indexes are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The indexes are seven long, right? Because we start counting at zero. So if we start counting at zero, if we start i at zero, We'll actually get to every index because our indexes only go to seven and that's less than eight and each time if we detect a hit here oh well we'll do something else but we don't need to detect hits we just need to it calls the color on every bug okay so i think what we're going to want to do then is something similar to this let's use a for loop and then let's have um that for loop go through our array so I'm going to grab this, and then double check what this does. Oops. Let's make sure it works on the red bug. Run. Oh, okay, and it's using the color to move it. Cool. Okay, got it. So, yep, we want this, and it's going to keep updating the bugs. So when detects hit uh and let's put this in here and that in here now we need it to go through our actual bugs so maybe we won't use a parameter then it looks like we're just going to use the array itself and the array is up here so we already have access to it so um uh, now we're going to want to use our array's length so bug array dot length because we want to go through the entire array of bugs okay and then what do we want to change well we want to change each bugs so instead of saying color we're not passing it an individual color now we're looping through the array so each bug we can get to now by doing bug array and then using i for its index right? Because that's what we're looping through with zero. So now this is the first time we go through this is bug array zero. Okay. And now we want to change it to that here too, because we want to change bug array zero index, which is really the red bug X and Y property. And then we want to set bug array and so then after it goes through for the zero index, it will go through for the one index, which is our orange bug. And then next, and the next, bug array. Ooh, I should have put i, not zero. Oops. Okay. Let's see how that works. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. I love that. We could even separate it out into a different function if we wanted to make it look a bit more like theirs. For instance, we could do something. So this is move bug, and now we're moving bugs. So maybe I would want to do move all bugs. And then here I could call
I could call upon this and have it like it was book. So this is just a second way of going about this. And I'm just going to copy and paste the word color. Whoops. Back over. So how you could keep the same setup if you wanted to add another function and call this function in it. I'll show you what I mean. Both of them work. So this is now back to what they started us with. Oh, I messed something up. Color. Now that's back to what they started us with. And now we could also do a for loop inside of here. Have it go to bug array dot length. And then have it call the function move move bug and then have the parameter be bug array i for our index and then we would need to up here call our actual function which they have board event move bugs okay we can name this move bugs oh here oh i got it we can put a loop in here but uh i'm doing more work than i had to so we could also do it this way let's give that a shot but uh two ways same result but yeah there's different ways to approach it cool let's keep going